So I've set up my new um, six inch um, refracting telescope in, in the lab here so I can kind of uh, show students. I thought I would make a quick video. Of course, I can't see any stars in here, but um, again, this is mine. It's a, I just got it uh, late this summer and it's just gorgeous. A shout out to OPT Corporation out in California. Jason did a great job <laughs> getting me set up. Actually, um, if you're listening to these in order, I did a, a, I showed you a reflecting telescope that uses mirrors. Now I'm gonna show you that this telescope, actually, we're gonna go around the corner up here. This telescope actually uses a lens, and I don't know if you can kind of make that out or not. Okay, so the, the diameter of that lens is six inches. And I don't know if it's true or not, but they would say that refracting telescopes that use lenses like this are better for like um, solar system objects like planets and such. And the other one, the reflecting telescope, is better at more deep space objects. I'm not sure about that. But um, this one has a different mount. Instead of having the alt azimuth mount, it has um, what's called an equatorial mount. And it's, I'm still kind of getting used to it. It's kind of a lot of fun. I'll kind of, I'll do a little bit of slewing so you can see how that goes. It also is motorized. And so, um, I'll just kind of give you a sense for its movement. See, it's kind of tilting. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back. And then I'll go the other direction. So it just takes a little bit of getting used to, but it is, it is a beaut. Let's see, what else? Um, so it's gonna use a lens to go ahead and gather light that's coming in back here at a focal point. And then back here at the focal point, that image can be, I call it kind of unpacked then. Um, the objective can unpack it at the eyepiece. So um, this is a little bit different too than, than the other telescope, the school's telescope. You probably can't tell, but the diameter of this eyepiece is um, two inches instead of uh, an inch and a quarter. So it's supposed to be kind of easier on the old eyes. So um, both that telescope and this telescope have, I don't know if you can tell it, coming out from the tube, it kind of has um, what we call a, a right angle a diagonal, excuse me, it's called a diagonal. It's got a little mirror in there so you don't have to get down here low and look up. It actually sends the image up here to the eyepiece. So again, um, eyepieces have numbers like the focal length of the eyepiece. This one is 40 millimeters, kind of gives you a nice kind of wide view. Um, the smaller the number, the more the magnification and the smaller the view. So um, again, we have kind of like a little um, uh, mini telescope outside of here. This actually is our finder or our spotter scope and it needs to be lined up to what um, the telescope itself is seeing up there. So finder scope. Um, I think that's it. Alrighty.